Danny. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> are we going to dork out Oops. together today? <laughs> What's that? Are we going to dork out together today? Oh, probably. <laughs> or am I the only dork out of this twin? twin. <laughs> so for the people who don't know, why not? Number one is my first question. Denise at Spiritual Growth Tarot. And she and I are soul brothers and sisters. Right. We are born three hours apart. No, um, an hour and a half. An hour and a half apart. And <laughs> I am, she, obviously you can tell she is the older one because she corrected me. <laughs> I'm the pain in the butt one. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm the younger one. I'm the younger brother. <laughs> but it was so funny that we get to see each other. We we found this out on YouTube. And so it just goes to show what a great, right. great community. Somebody was wishing you happy birthday. And I think I emailed you or something and said, hey, wait, what? And then what? Or I emailed you to ask you the year. And then I figured out what? And then you what? get your birthday. And I was like, whoa. Exact. <laughs> It, the same year, same time, an hour and a half, and yeah. different parts of the world, though. Yes, yes. yes. I was I was near Smelly. I, I was born near Smelly. Yeah, and I was born smack dab in the middle of the country. Oh, the Mississippi River. Well, not on the Mississippi River. Near. But close. Yeah, yeah. St. Louis. St. Louis. Yeah. Yeah. Out of Luis. Oh. And, now I'm in San Luis. Yeah, that's Down right. Here. I was born in St. Louis, and now I'm in San Luis. Abispo. Abispo, hey. yeah. Yeah, you just have to add that. Abispo. <laughs> County. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, we got some great questions, so thank you all for submitting some questions. We'll get to them a little bit. Um, the first one I wanted to get to, and I don't even know how to go about this. It's all, um, we, there's a, a ton of gun violence going on right now. We've had new, I, I don't want to put a number on it because somebody, it may change, but we've had numerous shootings, mass shootings in the last week. Yeah. and. Um, it's, it's, it's just kind of nuts. Um, and I don't know how we go about this, but let's just, let's just pull a general reading on, um, is, are there, is there going to be some new regulation to try to, which is a horrible word, to try to stem gun violence in, in these, these crazy people that can go out and buy weapons of mass destruction to, yeah. right. Yeah, right. We need some new laws. Yeah. So there was, in my notes, I've got, um, there was people that were shot at a basketball game in Milwaukee, yeah. Buffalo, New York. That was all on the news. Big, big news. Yes. Um, Houston flea market. And just recently a couple, uh, I guess uh, yesterday, mm -hmm. uh, a Southern California church shooting. Yeah. Orange County. Yeah. yeah. And uh, for those who haven't picked up Heather Cox Richardson yeah. um, letters from an American Google her and she sends out a free email as well as you can subscribe to her, her, emails to get more in depth, but she talks, uh, she has a great article on the great replacement theory, which I will season. read, which I will read on, but not today because it is so in depth. It is was that so yesterday. I think it was last night, right? Or yeah. Last night. That's a late. Yeah. It May 15th. If you guys want to go to the one for that was May 15th. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's, there's a lot of stuff in it, but, um, a lot of, a lot of the, uh, talking heads now are talking about the great replacement theory. And 
when I read, when I heard about this, I go, these people that are mentioning it don't even understand what it is no. that they're talking about. No. They're just inflaming people. Right. And yeah. so um, it's, yeah. it's anyway. I, what I got intuitively when I was reading, um, you know, those words, the replacement theory, I, and, you know, you and I, we both have this like sun conjunct Jupiter and we don't tend to think this way naturally, but the last couple of years, my brain is going in a whole new direction. Yeah. And I, I have a feeling it's being, I, at least I feel like maybe we can check on that. Is it being fed or is the American uh, social media, you know, milieu or whatever you call it, is it, are we being fed from like Russia and some other countries who don't want democracy? Yeah. Or well, just to make money on clickbait. I don't uh, know. Clickbait. Yeah, I want to make money on clickbait. <laughs> you're you're absolutely right. And here's something that that I was um, that I was thinking about. Now that the Russian money is being dried up, mm -hmm. so yeah, are the news feeds are is their funding being dried up, and will the misinformation slow up? from russia and let's read on that okay well you would read on the, the misinformation okay is that this the information the misinformation coming from russia that gets into our media and i think a lot of it is fox news because they oh. seem, to be, seem to be talking the russian oh mm -hmm. my god did you did you see jamie raskin take down um um Plugger. Marjorie Taylor Greene or Bobart going, quit, will the okay. Russian information propaganda slow down? Okay. Yeah, see which way is it going to go? Because usually before every election it goes crazy. But Right? Yeah. And it does kind of all dovetail because, you know, they got to us through the NRA before. And this whole, you know. Right. Leonard Leo and the whole this financial and the way it's in our Supreme Court, you know, the judicial, what is it, financial something or other. The the Federalists? It's the Federalist Society, and then and then they started getting trickier. Uh Sheldon Whitehouse talks about it in the scheme. He's got a yeah. bunch of like scheme. I think he's got maybe 16 videos on that. He did, oh. he did Roe v. Wade just recently. But yeah. Yeah. So anyway. I think it all goes together. It all goes together. It's all about money and control and for them to keep their power so they can keep their money, but then they don't do any work for it. Right. They're right. Not helping, I know. Not helping anybody. Yeah. Okay. So I'm grabbing some paper and pan. All right. Okay. So yeah, is the disinformation... Is the disinformation flow going to slow down, I suppose? Oh, yeah, you're getting the time on there. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Because we've been yakking for a while. I so know. people who just want to jump into the good stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got to give them those timestamps. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do we got here? Ooh. Dis disinformation going to stop. Stop or slow down or what? Yeah. Or increase or, you know, because we are you know, heading into elections. Is it going to stop? Hmm. Interesting. I know. <laughs> I'm like, huh, what are these cards saying? I wish they had words on them. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that blocks our intuition, though. I hate words with cards on, or cards with words on them. Except for I got the five cent deck, and that's really cool. But there's so many things going on in that deck that uh, it's hard to even look at. But it has words on it. 
And oh. sometimes words are cool, but the yeah. artwork so cool on it. Uh, what is it? The like five, five cent five deck? Five cent deck. I'll check it out. Thanks. Yeah. yeah I sh I'll show you. I'll show you real quick. There we go. I'll show you one card. So it comes, it comes like that. The five Aww. cent deck. It's like a nice box. Yeah. And here is, well, here's the Joe Biden card, the King of Cups. Wow. But look how detailed. It's, it's nuts. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Oh, I see how there's a few words here and there. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Cool. The, but those words, it doesn't look like it, there's so much that it would be overwhelming to. It you know. is. Oh, because you kind of glom, because we're, because we're, we're trained to like read. Yeah. I hear you. And, yeah, <laughs> oh, I just do. Then I stop and look at the the words. I, I, yeah, I just like to to read and not. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. what did you get? Did you get something? Well, I so what's good? So I was too, trying to tune into like Russia. Okay. Russia. Yeah. But then again, it could be that we're needing maybe work. Oh, this is what it is. We we need to. I don't know which way to go here. Yes, you. Yep, camera here. Okay, we need to protect ourselves from the information that's coming in. Um, uh, the doggy's all about protection. Why do I can't I don't can't, can't think of any other way to read it in a situation like be loyal to your own wisdom. Be, we have to be very careful of our own wisdom, and what we receive. From for you know because it's still going to keep coming. I get we're going to still keep receiving from foreign countries. It might not be just Russia, you know. Mm. It could be Erdogan in Turkey. It could be Xi in China. Any communist country or or these right. you know Viktor Orban even you know getting his stuff into Clucker Carlson and and then the what comes after that is the Fox. So you know foreign information that's tricky and is fraudulent. Totally fraudulent. The fox is, this dude is like so tricky. Yeah. And then, and then it's hidden. It's hidden. It's secret. They're going to try to, you know, hide it. It's yep. Fraudulent secret information. And then it might come in small little dribbles. Whoops. With the, the child card there. The, or it could be oh. something new. It could be that it's some new way to make money because the fish is all about money. New way for them to make money. So I don't really see it slowing down. But this, this is a card of a lot. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. What do you have? What do you get? I think you I think you're you're exactly right. I think that maybe the Russian disinformation is going to slow down okay. but the others from either china iran or wherever it comes from is yeah. is going to keep going mm -hmm. i also got the fox sleeping with one eye open oh. so this is like the the guy that um in in normal decks the thief that sneaks into camp oh, the seventh uh-huh yeah grab some swords I also got the challenge is the, the three of wands. And in this, when I look at this card, it's all about the containment of the passion here. So it reminds us to keep vigilant with this three of wands. And this is also looking overseas. Mm -hmm. So it's still, it's still coming. Yeah. The, the Russia though. So I got the death card in the path past that is um influencing this it's the russian the russian information is kind of over and slowing down but the information is still coming from a new source Ooh, yeah Oh, yeah, yeah. that's probably, that's probably why I got the the little child there too. The new, yeah, right. The right. new flow with the fish, new flow from another source. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, 
I got the uh, internal position is the Eight of Swords. And this is, to me, this is about protection, about mm -hmm. making sure we're protected, that we stay vigilant, that we just don't drop onto those swords. Uh, mm -hmm. External position is the dark is the dark money, the three of pentacles. Ooh, we get it. And in the final outcome is, and this was for me, I was thinking Russia, the emperor is upside down. But wow. all these other cards are saying it's still coming. You know, yeah. you're reading it's still coming. It's just not coming as hard and, and strong from Russia. We right. still need to be vigilant with it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Hey, you know what, Danny? Can we go one little step further with this? In no. This <laughs> oh, no. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> Okay. Just one, just one little, just one little. Are we? Is the NSA, CIA, whatever uh, these, uh, you know, counterintelligence and intelligence operators? Are we? Are we being protected? Okay. Let's see if. Uh, are we? Are we being protected from this? Um, yep. And I hear, you know, I, intuitively I hear yes, we are, but yes. the the. <laughs> challenge comes from the the um the vocal nuts in wow. in our um government that are saying oh you can't limit free speech oh this is blah 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 you know and they're just <sighs> spewing the russian talking points You're right right and because so, they said uh, Putin put out something saying that that information coming out of uh, Clucker Carlson was essential. 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 Right. And so he's saying, yeah. oh, no, the CIA and the government can't go after me. So that's that's kind of what I'm getting intuitively. Let's uh, just see. Sure makes sense. Let's see. Is the. Um, let's see. Whoa, whoa. A lot of my cards flew out. It's because I don't know how to shuffle. The right ones? Maybe they were the right No, I said I don't know how to shuffle. I'm going to learn one of these days. Um, just got to manhandle it. Own those cards. I got the deepest hands. <laughs> and it's cold. I know. Yeah. Okay. Oh, FBI, CIA, are they NSA. on top of it? Yeah, it's more the NSA I'm thinking of. NSA. Yeah, are they? Are they on top of this? Okay. Interesting. Okay. We're going to go one step further than this, too. If okay. you want to keep throwing that. Absolutely. And that is, this is, 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 is Tucker Carlson stopping or hindering the NSA? Okay. Okay. We'll ask that after. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Did you get something? I do. Do you want me to go? Go ahead. Cause I'm writing. Okay. Oh, you're time stamping. Yeah. Okay. So there's a huge network of information. Uh, the, the system with the tree, it's, this is the system, the brains of all the different branches of government and the information that's constantly flowing in. And with this card, I mean, it looks like overseas information, right? Uh huh. Uh, it's, it's slow. It, it keeps, you know, trickling in but, and it's slow, but they really, really care about which direction it goes. Actually, the cards went in this way. 
they, the NSA and these other organizations, they care about which direction it flows. So they are policing it and they're trying to literally minimize the danger and minimize the way, you know, the places that it goes. Yeah. And, and then this is, yes, absolutely. Yes. They are protecting us, but th- this is how they're protecting us. Yeah. Right. Right. What kind of cars are those? Those are good. I like those. Those are it's it's um it's this deck right here. If you want to get it, it's pretty easy to find. It's the Golden Dreams. Golden Dreams. Yeah, Golden Dreams Lenormand. You would or Lenormand. Just write down Lenormand. Uh Um, Yeah, you you'd love it. Now I have to learn how to do a Lenormand spread. You would you would get oh you just read it like a string of cards they, they tell you a they tell you a story you don't even have to have positions unless you want you okay don't, you don't have to read that way often okay. I don't. yeah what do you get I got I got something similar I got again I got the three of wands mm-hmm. okay so that's overseas and that's them trying to contain this information in this deck right. They've got all that information that they are containing. Um, I got justice following it with the moon card. So there is some hidden information that they're not seeing, um, but they are on top of it. They know, There's the four cup with the rats. So there's no, this is just a rat keeping on top of all this emotional stuff. Mm-hmm. This deck does not have any uh, offer being made right. in a normal four of cups. That's okay. Right? Yeah, it, that's okay. That's yeah. You know, there's no you offer. Go with it, the, it's you just go with a the rat deck. on top of all <laughs> of this emotional stuff. And yeah, then that's good. you have the owl, mm-hmm. the queen, daughter of swords. Oh, so, so is that the page of swords? Yeah. Then that's spies, spies. Yes. They, so they have yeah. counterintelligence. That's what I was feeling counterintelligence with that four of cups. Yep. That yep. in that deck. Yep. yep. And they are walking away from sorrow. Good. Yeah. Very good. So that counterintelligence that they're doing is, um, and, and the owl sees so much, it can spin its head oh, like the exorcist doll. Yeah, Blair. I, I was traumatized by that movie when I was like, "Me too." Years. Oh God! I had my brother on one side and my husband on the other, and they were holding me down because I kept trying to get up and leave. <laughs> I beat the crap were, out of them later. Yeah, I just didn't make a scene in the theater, but man, like I'm gonna vomit on you. <laughs> Oh, like, I had nightmares for two weeks after that. It wasn't it just war? I, I was traumatized. I really was. Yeah. 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 It was the worst thing in the world. We were too young to know how to deal with it. Now I'm just like. You were married? Out. You yeah. were married then? Yeah. So I got married at, at 16. I was a child wow. bride. And I wasn't pregnant. I just wanted the hell out of my house. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Like, yeah, we can do this on our own. <laughs> 16. Wow. When I was yeah. 16, well, I wasn't married. <laughs> yeah. You were smart. You were we took smart. different paths. I thought it was like I was 15 going on 50, you know? Just like, See, if you would have talked to your younger brother, I would have said, sis, hell oh, no. Don't no. go to go to college. Don't no, don't do college later. Do it now. Yeah, do it now when you're 16. Yeah, well, you finish high school first and get yeah yeah. Uh, All right. So another lifetime ago is Tucker Car- is so the question about Tucker Carlson then yeah okay is is he being is he being investigated by NSA or for entertainment only. I don't know. They are I'm they just saying that he's promoting Russian information. Is the government actually watching him? Yeah. Could this be one of those things that finally brings him down? 
Oh, wouldn't that be great? See that? that? I'm just, we're just goofing. (laughs) All of our channels are entertainment channels. We're just. (laughs) Nobody needs to ever put those cards up ever. I know. This cracks me up when everybody says that and does all that. It's like, (laughs) we are entertainment channels. We are. We are. We're not and kind of was embarrassing when I went to get my, you know, bank, whatever account. And, and I saw that I'm signing the paperwork, you know, entertain. Oh, yeah, I guess we have to, huh? Yeah, right. <laughs> she didn't even know I had a YouTube channel. I just said, you know, astrology and tarot and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Carl Smith. Are they watching Tucker? Tucker Carlson Lucker. is disinformation. Is he being looked at? I'm going to use a different deck. Is he being looked at? Is he being looked at? Think or it is disinformation. Think of his. Think of his weird little hairdo. <sighs> you know, it's got. It's got. A, it's just only the the earlobe showing. <laughs> Every time I hear that guy, I'm just like, oh. oh yeah. <sighs> like, where are the brains? Such an entitled little puke. I don't oh, know. Yeah. Can I say that on your channel? Oh, it's my channel. I can say that. Say whatever you want. <laughs> an entitled little. And I've, I've learned we can get away with quite the cuss words, too. Really? Like what? No, I don't want to say it on your channel because I'm just, you know, it'd be that one time that you got that little yellow dollar sign that you don't ever want to see. Yeah. (laughs) I've slipped so many times is what's happened. And then I get Uh pissed off other times and then, yeah. Walker. Disinformation. Are they watching him? What's going on with Walker? Well, let's look into his future, too, while we're at it. You know, and when you asked, is this what's going to bring him down? Yeah. I got moving on. The Six of Swords. Ooh. And I go, oh, Denise was on to something. That's quite a little transition for him, isn't it? Yeah. And and he's so against immigration. (laughs) Yeah. Wow. Uh oh. What's going on? Hmm. Uh oh. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I'm going to get in trouble for what I'm going to say coming up. So. It's okay. More close your ears, everyone. If you, if you, if it offends. No, it's just that there, they, uh, certain people have um, their own way of saying how I interpret this card. Oh you, no, and, you do you. You no the card. Uh, I'll do me, but they. The, no, the, it's fun to have them talk about this one card. Okay, I, I like it. But they're all just tools. They're just pieces of paper. It's like I like them. I like stirring things up. Yeah, we they're they're meant to trigger our intuition, not not hold hard to the the meaning. It that somebody triggers else a made lot. Up. This card triggers a lot. I'm gonna go right. since I'm talking about it. So go, much. yeah. Tucker Carlson. So he's got the six of swords. He's moving on. That's at the center of the reading. I did a full spread real real quick here. I've got the page of cups. So there is some information coming out from unexpected sources. I also at the base, I also got the queen of cups. So there is somebody that is kind of keeping a lid on all of this emotion. Um, And maybe that's in his world where he, this is just what I'm getting intuitively. Um, at the base, in the past, as it relates, is the emperor, which is the Russian 
disinformation. Here's the high priestess at the top of the reading with a little bit more of like secrets that are going to be coming out. And there's a lot. He's getting with the Ten of Pentacles, yeah. uh, Ten of uh, Wands. This is a really heavy burden for him, but these wands, they're glowing. They're, they're red hot pokers. He's going to get burned if he's not careful. Uh-oh. He's got the justice card. Whoa. He's going to get a little bit burned. <laughs> um, he's got the knight of wands in the uh, external position. These people are coming up. They're running up that hill with more information, more information, more information. The hopes and fears are the star of hope. Maybe we can stop this mm -hmm. or maybe he can be pulled out of this darky inkiness. Ah, and the final the card, inky. the final card is the government is looking to open up a box of whoop ass on Tucker <laughs> Carlson. <laughs> wow. And this is the card that that gets everybody. It's not a box of whoop ass. It's a can of whoop ass. The uh, higher hand, it can be. That card can go so many ways. But it's That's, a box. He's looking into a box. Yeah. And, and it's glowing out of this box. That's why I said the government is looking into yeah. this box of whoop ass. <laughs> People are saying it's a can of whoop ass. So yeah, the government yeah. is looking into things and they're looking at it. And that justice card is a little oh. scary if you're um, TC in my oh. opinion. Yeah. Wow. But yeah. I have them looking into this. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I might could just just show you the one card. Uh oh. <laughs> but the process is it's complicated, but they're following the money. It actually went this way, darn it. Darn it's, it. Yeah, it's it's weird. It's like when I'm on that side, it works. Like if I'm the one, uh, I can just turn them around and hold them up. But whenever I'm over here in somebody else's live stream, I can't. I have to flip it around. So oh. the money flow is complicated, but it's coming from a betrayal type of a, you know, a, a source that's going to bite us, right? Which is yeah. So he's getting the, and he's getting, he has two streams of income coming in to blow Ooh. out, to, to, to be online or to be on TV and go, saying whatever he wants this is the egomaniac this this was my bloviating bag of hot air card for trump all the time yeah and this is you know this is tucker and he's getting paid from two different sources so yeah. not only is he getting his fox news salary whatever or you know whatever contract he has he's also getting it from russia and, and is that a Russia card the this is, yeah the bear it's my russia oh, okay card. yeah yeah i didn't see yeah that. And there's, and then our homeland, some of our homeland is being seduced with the rose. So homeland here, seduce, seduction with the rose. And, and, and it's also part of the big change that, this way, the part, part of the big change that brought in the uh, January 6th, you know. Yeah. That, that was caused by dirt bags like him. Right, but at some point, his tox, his toxic, whatever, oh, man, his toxicity will stop. You know, will I ever learn? Right, apparently not. His toxic ways at some point will stop. Well, he'll he'll be he'll be blocked, and and he's actually in danger. Cool. So there's that. That goes with your uh, box of whoop ass. Yeah. 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 So yeah, they're watching it's a can him. Of whoop ass. It's not a box. It's a can. No. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, wow. What yeah. a trip. I would have never even thought of that if we hadn't started talking about him, if you hadn't brought him up. So wow. and you know, he's so rich because he's got um some kind of his his family money is like 
food mm-hmm. industry or something. He's got a ton of family money. Right. Like the Publix heiress. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I can't remember the name of, um, oh, I totally, I forget now the name of the food company. Is it Swanson? Or- oh, that's it. I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Swanson. I've never eaten another TV dinner <laughs> again. Can you imagine in foil? I know. <laughs> that can't be good for you. Foil, oh. heat, heat your food up in foil or plastic. It's like, oh, yeah, no, don't you do cook that. it. Oh my God, but I used to do that. My parents would, yeah, we would watch Bonanza on Sunday night. Uh, and we'd have these TV trays. Yeah. Metal plastic. I mean, yeah. They, oh. Yeah. Oh. Well, you're not doing it anymore. You stopped. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, I did. I don't do it anymore. <laughs> I sure like their mashed potatoes and peas, though. (laughs) Oh, man, taters, right? I know. And then they had that little awful dessert. I was like, oh, God. All right. All right. Let's go to some some of the viewers' questions. Yeah. Because we're we're running. We're going to run late a little bit. All right. Um, Yeah. um, Yeah. Let's do let's do a spiritual one okay. um, because we were we were we started talking about the gun violence, which is I don't know where to go with this, but somebody asked um, the question: How, how do, we- do we collectively comprehend peace, love, compassion in real and meaningful ways? When we're being faced with all this violence, all this hate, all this rhetoric, and it's when is when is coming to the heart the first norm? Thinking from the heart, acting from the heart, and it's um, you know that's another easy question. It's <laughs> it's so like saying- I am gonna. It's it's almost like asking when when am I going to be able to control the world? <laughs> yeah, every single person in the world. When am I going to be able to hurt all those cats? And... Right, right. So I'm going to use the Sacred Earth Oracle to see if they can they can shed some light on this. But okay. for me, when I when I think about that, it's um. Every every time we fall into the the trap of um, wanting to lash out at somebody when we don't think and feel from our heart source first, then then we're not adding to the collective who is doing that. So it, it starts with us. Absolutely. What do we, you know, always. What do yeah. we need to do? Yeah. To stay in that place so we don't fall out of and just say, let's, I just want, you know, you want bad things to happen to somebody. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. If you're putting that out there. Yeah. No, it, that's the thing. It's a, everything's an inside job. The world, the universe will always mirror back to you what's going right. on. But it's beautiful because that's the only way we heal. Right. Yeah. It, right. How else? I mean, I think it's beautiful that it's set up that way. Like how how beautiful that I mean, it takes a long time to get it. You have to get out of the blame game. Oh yeah. You gotta get yeah. out of the blame game. And, and there's this other whole part, a, a piece of that equation where life on earth is not perfect. So if you're gonna try to go through your life thinking every single thought's coming right back at you, no, that's not true either, because you know. Yeah, you know, we live in t- the time space continuum. You know, Saturn's ruling that, and we can we can stop it and say, no, I don't mean for that to go out there. I'm sorry, I I was just you know I screwed up for a minute. No, don't put that out there. Yeah, yeah, and turn things around, and turn things around, right? And you know, it's interesting because I was going to say that we have been dealing in 
still are dealing with the negative 45 energy and just the lies and deceit and no accountability, no correction, right. no, none of this language is um, that these people are throwing out there, the TCs in the Fox News, that yeah. they're throwing out there. They're not bringing it back and going, oh, no, I screwed up. Yeah. They're just. No, they just. So when is that going to stop? And I, and I think it needs to stop with, I mean, obviously what we're talking about right now is somehow it needs to start with us. And oh, we everything. Promoting. Yeah. And so like, let's just see how we do that with these cards and see if they. Okay, see if the cards will talk to us that way. Yeah, because yeah. we already know the answer. It's always an inside job. Everything's an inside, inside. job. But it's also, it's it's really hard to do. What are we not seeing that we need to let go of? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's another good angle to look at it, too. This Ooh, way. What, how are we framing the question? I mean, is it like, what's the best we can do? Or what are we asking? I'm sorry. Well, yeah, how do we, how do we, um, she, she asked it really oh that's right i have it right here uh, uh how do, it was about how do we collectively comprehend peace love and compassion in real and meaningful ways yeah okay yeah. i just lost my questions that's okay when yeah. when is coming to the heart first the norm when is come when okay yeah like how <laughs> So that's more of a timing question. Maybe we could look at the process or. She, but um, yeah. Like I, I, she's I, wanting to well, know for, when, like when she, I think she's wanting to know what, like intuitively, I feel like that question is when are we going to be safe? Yeah. Uh, and. You know, I, for me, I just, I just feel like. Um, what we, then you've got to define what safe means yeah. for you, for an individual. Mm -hmm. And I, I mean, I I always feel safe. So mm -hmm. it's never like um, I, I don't feel safe. I, yeah. I, I don't, I hardly ever am in that place. And if I'm out in a sketchy part of um, the woods or town or whatever, then I'm a little more heightened. I'm a little more on my guard. Yeah. And, but I feel like if, if it's, if it's my time to go, then it's my time to go. However, what happens if I'm in Ukraine? <laughs> I know. I, I feel then, you know, but I'm not. So the thing is you're not, and we're, we're where we are because of all these lifetimes. I mean, this is my belief, but all these maybe thousands of lifetimes that we've lived and finally we incarnated in, you know, a place that, well, besides all the hate crimes with guns, you know, right. We are, we are fairly safe. We're certainly yeah. well fed. That's for sure. <laughs> We're safe. But yeah. then again, you know. I mean, and there's other people that aren't, so it's, yeah. but that's their path. You know, we just yeah. need to support them on their path just as best we can. Right. I mean, I struggle with this a lot because mm -hmm. I start feeling guilty about all the good things that I have. It, when, oh. you know, when you look at Ukraine and you go, oh, my gosh, oh, no. you know, it, it, it's it's a weird dynamic. Um, yeah. um, I don't feel you know, I don't stay in that energy because it doesn't help. It won't help anybody. No. And so when she asks, um, where is it? Where is it? About coming from I lost it. I lost it. There yeah. it is. How do we collectively comprehend um, peace, love, and compassion in a real and meaningful way? I, I, I don't think there's, a, 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 as soon as, there's no time to when is this going to happen. I just think we need to start doing it now. 
Mm -hmm. Step by step. Right. Keep coming from our hearts first. Yeah. 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 And the the three cards that I pulled Ah. were alchemy. Ooh. A little little weak card there. (laughs) And that's all. And it's all stemming from, um, you know, what we, what we put into our hands and what we bring into our hearts. Yeah. So I think that that's what I'm getting from that. And the next card I pulled is reaction. Mm. And it's like, well, how are we reacting to, um, how, how do are we observing or are we absorbing this negative information? And then I got specialization and I'm, I'm struggling with this. It seems like it's more of a, just looking at the card, not looking at the word. It's yeah. more of a, a juggling process of keeping things that we necessarily don't need in our lives mm-hmm. up. In yeah. the air, and what we do want, keep it in our hearts. And then, I, I guess, I think we then move that way into it. We we need to focus on what we want in our heart space, and not what is being thrown all around us. Yeah, and even with the alchemy card, if you didn't look at the word there, it's it's a hand, <laughs> you know, like. <laughs> Yeah. What do I want to keep out and what do I want to hold in? You know. Right. Maybe and there's so much, there's so much fire all yeah. around it. Right. Yeah. And it could be an Iron Man hand too, where he's about ready to Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll bring everything back to comic book heroes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I think I think my cards back up yours because I have a lot of well fire here on the two of them but with the page of swords I feel like this one has to do with being really curious about getting new information but also to maybe be careful about what you focus in on Mm -hmm. like and that would go with your you know the hand that you have yeah because I mean She's, if I just, if we didn't even see that it was a page of swords and we just went with the image, she's studying and the aha light bulb is coming on. So maybe it's about studying spiritual law, right? Yeah. It could be about that or just or study, doing our spiritual studies. And then I have the tower, but I, my, my belief, because when I first started learning tarot, I, I started meditating with all the cards and this card taught me. The tower is really about breaking through, letting go of the false self so that the real self can come through. Yeah. So maybe it's just like sometimes being in those painful places where you don't like seeing, but maybe you have to like use that hand that you had, like, you know, turn the TV off. Maybe it's too much right now. Yeah. But, you know, we're, we're doing yeah, Well, it definitely, it definitely is. It is. You know, how do you stay in? formed yeah exactly right right yeah. how do you stay informed without it breaking you apart right and and then but how about when those feelings come through just honor them because they're real feelings of being human it is hard to be a human it is the, the human condition is hard it is it is it'd be, it'd be easier that's why to be. i want to be an e when i grow up <laughs> Maybe there's a part of us that's already living somewhere in an ET realm. Maybe. Makes yeah. Me wonder. yeah. But then the, the last card I got with the Queen of Wands, this is my like Shazam oh. card. <laughs> but, you know, the traditional meanings have to do with uh, being in your warm, self-confident, you know, I can I can deal with it. I can take it kind of place. But with that black kitty down there, you know, it's your intuition as well. And then maybe yeah. on another level, if we just go with the image, it's about meditating, you know, meditating to, and open up. I, I like how we both had a lot of yellow and orange, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Fire. We, did, we both had some fire. Yeah. You know, and the thing, too, when you said um, meditating, it's, you know, if we're just so focused on the negative, then, you know, that's what's 
it's going to keep coming up. But we can, in, in shamanic practices, you can transmute, transfigure um, just by stepping through the veil into another place, into another imaginary, using your mind's eye into um, a, a peaceful place in nature where you can get more information, where you can get things that aren't coming from drug companies, Fox News, Russian media. We get to create and hear the truth from different sources that aren't about money and power and greed and more about the heart space. Oh, that's so important. Yeah. yeah. That and, is so and that's going out in nature and just listening. Yeah. 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 Cause I mean, it's like, she's so alive. You go outside, it's like, ah, <laughs> you know, Yeah. and it, and it's always growing. It's like, you know, it's just always, even in the winter, there's something growing down below. <laughs> there's yeah. Something. Yeah, absolutely. Something changing, something growing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. Here's, I don't know if we're going to get to all of these. I don't know if we're going to be getting into a bunch of politics, but let's well, look. Um, who do you know who I'm going to throw this out. I just read something on my news feed okay. that age. I think it was the AG of Pennsylvania um, who is a Democrat. Ended up with a stroke in the hospital. Oh, that's he's a lieutenant governor. That was me. I emailed you that. Um, uh, uh, Fetterman, John Fetterman had a Fetterman. stroke. I know yeah. he's a he's he's a really good guy. Good guy. Uh, but there's someone else too that's that he was running against the other Democrat, which would be just fine too. But all I think is I just don't know the other one. That's all. Oh, okay. But, but the Fetterman thing just happened today, you know, happened. Right. I um, think it was today or maybe it was yesterday. But yeah. Yeah, right. they said he's going to be okay. Yeah. Um, but, um, you know, I, I just want some, a little bubble around him. Because yeah. I, I really like him. I think that he would be really good in the Senate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um or was he just, but he might have been running. For, was he running for senator or was he governor? Is it senator? I, I think, think it was so. senator. Yeah, yeah. From, from lieutenant governor to senator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's look at. You had somebody else that you were thinking of, though, right? Or, or what? Maybe, oh, it was one of the other questions. I think, it was, I think it was him. He looks almost like he could, you know, like a, he's an, a biker like a wrestler oh, or something. He was totally, I wish I could remember. It was Foolish Tarot that turned me on to him. I uh, I can't remember, but he he was totally, uh, I don't know if he was like in the military. He was somewhere in the military, yeah. something like that. He was, you know, strong guy. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But you had, um, or somebody had Josh Shapiro. Josh, and it might be that Josh Shapiro was running against him. Or, mm. no, because Josh Sapiro's for a uh, governor, it says. Yeah, governor. Well, let's read on Josh Shapiro. Just, just okay. see what his cards are to the governor's race, to the governor's mansion, I guess. Okay. How's Josh Shapiro? What's he going to feel like? Is he in the governor's mansion? Josh mm. Shapiro, path to the governor's mansion. Gosh, I don't even know what he looks like. No, me neither. That's kind of cold funny. read on this, Josh. Yeah, yeah, super cold reads, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm just going to leave it at six cards. It's kind of like every political campaign. <laughs> I 
this this reading could be for any political campaign, it seems like, unless, you know, as, as long as they're going to succeed. And I think I got really good cards for him. Do you? What did you get? I, I mean, I, I have, they're kind of mixed up, or it looks like something just might get tricky. I wasn't asking, like, just a yes or no. Okay. And so I have to remember to do these backwards. So, so the letter is definitely about the vote. The cross would be, the like, the burden of the vote. Are they going to be uh -huh. able to get out and vote? But it could also be, you know, because the cross card can be, you know, like, to have faith. Maybe it's about having faith in the vote. And this is a major yes card, like like he'll get in there. But then, but I do have the fox. Like there's something a little tricky. Yeah. Oh yeah. Do you I have get that, that too? Something yeah. a little tricky. So tricky, like tricky communication wise, tricky or it's tricky and stressful. But at the end, I mean, this is the government position. This was yeah. the governor's mansion. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I got in the very, are you done? I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Yeah, no, okay. I was just going to say, what'd you get? So um, I pulled six cards. The first card is a celebration. Um, oh. They're making, kind of making a mess out of those grapes. They got, they got grape juice all over their dresses. So they're having fun. Um, he's in partnership with somebody that's good. It's a good partnership that He's getting into. However, it is not without his ten of swords. Uh, um, but in this deck, he didn't get stabbed in the back, but he has to walk away from a lot of a lot of troubling issues. So, where you say yes, something tricky is is coming. Um, I don't know how he's doing financially, but I did get the the king of pentacles in the past as uh -huh. it relates. So is this good money, bad money? Is he going to get caught up in some kind of money scheme? Mm -hmm. I, I'm not sure. He does have the ace of clubs. This is kind of like the Fred Flintstone club for me, where something's going to beat him over the head. Some big news is coming. Something it's coming out of the sky, but I have the wheel of fortune, so it's it's good. It's a completion card. Yeah, the wheel of fortune's excellent. Yeah, I think he's yeah. I think he's gonna get in there. But not without his not without Something. his challenges. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it's Fetterman, maybe Fetterman gives him quite a little challenge or run for his money, but maybe. Hey. So is there? I I don't know who I I'm such a dense. I don't even know who else is running against. Him. I don't either. You know it I when, can't keep when up with all of them. Yeah, I, I will. I was gonna pull the the um, tomorrow the Tuesday primaries. There's a lot of things like Cawthorn, and oh. I was gonna pull all those knuckleheads that were. Um, you know, well, let's since I mentioned him. Let's just pull three cards on oh, him God. to see if he's going to. How's um, Cawthorn going to do? If if he's even going to get out of the primary stages. Okay. <laughs> that guy. That guy. I kind of want him to stick around because he's such a train wreck. He's definitely entertaining. Wow. Wrapping <laughs> up in women's lingerie. Yeah, talking about key bumps and yeah, key bumps and orgies and then and then these photos come out. Yeah. yeah. It was also another guy reaching over to his junk in the <laughs> in the car, car or truck or whatever. Oh my god. I didn't see that, thankfully. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there was a little video on that. Yeah. Oh my um, god. Okay, three cards on this knucklehead. Three cards. Okay, that one came out. That one came out. <laughs> oh. Hmm. 
Sorry, I, I've got to do one more. <laughs> oh, one more. Okay. <laughs> well. You do as many as you want. Ah. Uh, yeah, because the third card was like, oh, but then again on this other level, I don't know. The third card just didn't give me an answer. But the other two were quite funny, and so are the last two. Hmm. I don't even know what state he's in or what he's. I think I. Uh, I think he's North Carolina. North Carolina. Oh, okay. I don't know. I I can't remember. <laughs> Should have just went with the card on the bottom. <laughs> I don't. Okay. So anyway, here. And so. Some more, some more secrets are coming out. <laughs> the moon. Oh not. no! Well, that's good. I mean, because they, huh? well, they are entertaining. Huh? They are entertaining. His secrets. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, he's he's not getting through that gateway. I don't think. Maybe no. Okay. Secrets are coming out, and it could have to do with money. A whole bunch of money that went in the wrong direction, maybe. But it's here's here's now. I get it. So I just had to start talking. It's something to do with a relationship. Some somebody that he got money from, and and it went flowing into the wrong hands. I'm just I told oh. this, is, this isn't what <laughs> temperance means at all. But I'm reading by the pictures today, and and then it's like, <laughs> wait, Not is that five that. cups? Yeah, five cups. Yeah, five cups. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. that's what this card is too. Five you got the five of cups too. Cool. He's not happy. Yeah, yeah, not happy. And then this was on the bottom. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, on, what'd you get? On mine, I got the. Um, I'm sorry, the Knight of Swords. And when you had the bottom card with the five, everybody's walking away. You can see all these people falling. That he's like kind of lashing out or. New, more news is coming out that is just going to let him fly by the wayside. Uh, he's got the Ten of Swords. He's walking away from all of this sword energy that is coming up. And wah, 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 wah. wah. Five of Cups. Wah. Wah. <laughs> wah. I... I need some more fun time with drugs and <laughs> and, and and orgies and yeah, my special outfits. <laughs> okay, um, here we go. Let's. Oh, this is going to be a. a I, I think I'm going to have to read on this, or you and I are going to have to read on this at another time. The, the five people that got subpoenaed oh, on yeah. Tuesday. Yeah, I don't know how you go. Are, are any of them going to testify? You know how we could couch that? We could ask, uh, oh, are they going to testify? That's the thing. Yeah. Are they going to even show up or are they all going to say no? They have the choice to, you know, if they don't have anything to hide, if they're smart, they'll they'll go and say whatever they have to say or plead the fifth. They, what was the first sentence you said? If they don't have anything to hide. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> well, not, not my sleeve. Yeah, exactly. Right. And who who got the pardons? Who got some pocket pardons? Did they really get pocket pardons? What happened? Oh. Did, they have, did they get pardoned? Like there's there's so much there. Wow. Wow. Oh, Let's just read on that. I hadn't thought of, I forgot. Oh, the pardons? Okay. All about the pocket pardons. Okay. Let's read on if they got pocket parts. If any of the five, any okay. of those people. Okay. Did they get pocket pardons? Any of those people got pocket I mean, you think Giuliani and everybody else, but we're we're talking. So hold on, let me let me look at the names. So while you're focusing, um, Ted Cruz, Kevin McCarthy, Mo Brooks, Jim Jordan, Perry, Rick Perry, uh, Andy Biggs, be indicted and jailed. 
And there's a bunch of other ones too, though. Are those the Let's five? just see if they, if they, if any of those, yeah, if any okay. of those guys got pocket pardons. Okay. President, okay. Secret pardons. Okay. Guys get secret pardons. Get secret pardons. Gross. Gross. Okay. If they can talk. Did they, did they, did they? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, gosh. What'd you get? I got yes. Me too. Did you? Yeah. Show me what you got. Oh. <laughs> So I I, I pulled good. six. I got I got the page of coins starting, Ooh. you know, just being a little naive, starting out on a project that the government is looking into. Um, they're being they have the star of hope, so they're being pulled out of the of the water of the darky ink inkness. The high priestess is a little bit um, shadowy. She's not really letting you know. But it's next to the lover's card. So there's this little protective bubble. And I got the, is this uh, the not. ace? Sorry, it's so bright. The ace of wands. Oh, oh major yes. And so to me, that's a yes card. Um, yeah. I would like to think if I looked at this card, it, it looks like it could be a sword. It could be double edged. So mm. there could be something that it is not just, oh, good. I got a, a pocket pardon, but it could come back to bite them. Right. Um, because accepting a pardon, some, right. Accepting a pardon does what? Right. It admits you're <laughs> guilty. Why would you give pardons to anybody if you weren't guilty? Exactly. Why would you accept it? You know, anybody with a half a brain would go, no, I don't want a pardon. I'm not asking for a pardon. I didn't do anything. Why? Yeah. yeah. Why would you accept it? And they've seen what Michael Cohen has gone through. Yeah. What did you get? I got, I got, yes, this is the primo yes card in the Lindemann. And I got that a lot of them. So all of them did. All of them did for their loyalty. Woof. Exactly. For their loyalty and their protection. And because they're so stupid. See, this is the thing. It's like evil is just stupid. Evil has its blind spots, right? Yeah. And, he, you know, he told them, well, don't worry. I'll just, I'll just give you a pardon. Don't worry if you get caught. Don't worry if any of this goes sideways. I'll I'll just give you a pardon. Oh my! Oh <laughs> my! God. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> so I I oh I pulled three clarifiers on this Ace of Wands. Yeah. If double edged. If what's oh. going on with it? Just oh, cool. give me a little more information. Yeah. What'd you get? I got the Star of Hope. Which was in the original reading. Yeah. I got the King of Pentacles, which is my trump card. And then I got the lover's card. Again. Which I got that again. Wow. And that's his Gemini. That's Gemini. That's it. That's him. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so, so much. Thank you. Thank you for all the giggles. <laughs> always a pleasure so next month we're going to be on your channel yeah yeah all right everybody thank you so much for watching <laughs>